Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Monday, 29th of January, and we have three more, three more days left from these three, three card readings I offer you. After that, you can access these three card readings exclusively to my Patreon page. You will find the uh, more details about in the description of this video. So, this is my deck, the Unified Esoteric Tarot, a deck I created a couple of years ago after almost three decades of research. Why it's important to know what kind of deck do you use for readings? In my opinion, each tarot deck is different. Each tarot deck is based on a different uh, system, has a different philosophy behind the visible part of the cards. My deck is a, a non-depicting tarot deck. I don't have uh, scenes depicted on my cards but I used all kinds of symbols and my focus was to research these symbols and find the best possible combinations of these symbols. Other decks like the Rider Way deck use uh, depiction of the cards, use all kinds of scenes that suggest a particular meaning to the cards. I don't like that kind of approach because I'm not convinced that the, those depictions represent the true meaning of the cards. For instance, the Rider Waite deck is based on the meaning offered by Atila in his deck, when Waite uh, commissioned Pamela Coleman Smith to create the Rider Waite deck. Uh, he gave her the meanings of the card uh, from Attila and for the Major Arcana cards uh, he described the cards from the Tower of Marseille. That was all the, the science, the philosophy behind the deck. It has nothing to do with the uh, so often mentioned the Golden Down system of the cards. It was only Atila's meaning of the card and a description of the major arcana card uh, of the Tarot of My Sale, as it was understood by Rider Waite at that point. Uh, I don't say it's something wrong with that. Uh, actually, I pretty much like Atila and his work, but the fact is, we don't know why Atila gave that interpretation of the card, what was the philosophy behind that interpretation. It, 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 we don't have any actual data about that system, so it's very difficult to, to evaluate how correctly this system worked. For that reason, I prefer decks with more research background, such as the Todd deck by Alistair Crowley. Crowley uh, put a lot of work into his deck and its meaning and, and symbolism on that card. It's a very, very different deck and a very, very different approach. Okay, now let's start the reading for today. This is my unified esoteric tarot. I will shuffle the cards. It's very important to shuffle the card and and choose choose the cards after the deck was properly shuffled. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, it's for free and it helps develop this channel further and uh, 
Share these videos if you like them. More people will come and see the work and learn about tarot. These three card readings are generic readings. Uh, they will they don't answer any particular question, but uh, but uh, give you a general guidance uh, to think about the things are had for the current day. Let's see. First card represents the present situation. The second card is the past and the influences from the past. And the third card is the future. What will uh, happening in the near future? There is a causality uh, relationship between these cards. The, the, the cause and effect between these cards. I try to put them to see. So this is the card for today. And here we have the Page of Cups. Uh, the Page of Cups signifies self-observation. It means that you have to focus on yourself. Think about what are your goals, what you want to achieve and how you can achieve them. Think about your habit. Uh, we are creatures of habit. We do things unconsciously and these things we are do have consequences. You have to think about what you are doing, what is your daily routine, what is good in it and what is not so good in it, and how you could improve yourself to be a better version of yourself. The card from the past. It's another water card, cup card, and it's the Ace of Cups in reverse position. It means fierce. It means that you are in this current situation when you have to evaluate yourself because you have hidden fears. There are things you are afraid of and that fears are make you make you put you in a position where it's very difficult for you to make decisions. And what will be the outcome of this current evaluation? We have the eight of disc in reverse position. It means dead luck. It means that if you are not able to make the right decisions at this point, to make a correct evaluation of yourself, you will be stuck in this, in this current situation for a little bit longer. Here's the thing. When you have reverse cards, the way you can, uh, you can change, change these cards, to turn them back, it's always uh, a matter of alchemy. And with the eight of disc to reverse the card in its in its normal position, natural position, and get the correct meaning, which is multiplication. What you have to do, it's a solution and dissolution. It relates to work, to find the best possible actions, to rethink how you do the things you are currently doing and make the rightful corrections. Okay, I hope this was helpful. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe to my channel. It's for free and it's helped me to further develop the channel. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.